Assalamu alaikum this is Hasna's not me and today we're going to study the lungs so these are your two lungs these are the major organs that are kept in your thoracic cavity and between them pressed between them you can say lies your heart since there lies heart as you can see mostly the heart is on the left side so you can see on the left lung there is a notch called the cardiac notch that gives heart space to rest so let's talk about the general features of a lung. The lung consists of an apex, which is the topmost part, the base, as you can see. Then it consists of three borders, the anterior sharp border, the posterior ill-defined border, and the inferior border. There are about two surfaces, the costal surface where the ribs basically rest, and the medial surface. In the medial surface, there are parts. The anterior part is mostly the mediastinal part and the posterior part of the surface basically is known as the vertebral part. In the medial surface, mediastinal part, you'll find the root of the lung. This is the root of the lung. So let's go ahead and begin discussion of the root of the lung. So the root of the lung is basically where you can say most of the structures enter inside and leave the lung. So what are the main structures that enter and leave the lung? Obviously, the bronchi, the most important part here, the trachea divides into two bronchi. One goes towards right and one goes towards your left lung. So the major important content of the root of the lung is first the bronchi. It is of note that the bronchi is only one in your left lung, while in your right lung, there are two bronchi known as ep arterial and hype arterial bronchi. Moreover, there is the pulmonary artery and the two pulmonary veins. Apart from this, the bronchial arteries, the bronchial veins, couple of plexuses of nerves, lymphatics, bronchopulmonary lymph nodes. These are a couple of structures inside the root of the lung. What's important is the arrangement of these structures is from anterior to posterior is VAB, meaning most anteriorly is your superior pulmonary vein. Then there is the artery, pulmonary artery, and then there is the bronchus. That is the arrangement from anterior to posterior. From above downwards, the arrangement on the left side is ABV, meaning A is for the pulmonary artery, the bronchus, and the inferior pulmonary vein. While on the right side, it is B A B V because there is first the ep arterial bronchus, then the pulmonary artery, then the hype arterial bronchus, and then the inferior pulmonary vein. Moreover, it is necessary to know what are the impressions on the medial surface of the lung because obviously in the thoracic cage lie multiple organs, the main arteries, the main veins that are derived from your heart. Apart from that, your major organs of the trachea, esophagus, the thoracic duct, azygous vein, all of these organs are basically tight in your thoracic cavity. Hence, they make impressions on your lung because they pass close to the lungs because everything is in your thoracic cavity and the lungs are the major organ of your uh, thoracic cavity. Hence, these make impressions on the mostly medial surface of the lung because uh, the outer surface of the lung is mostly marked by impressions of the ribs because it is lying in complete close union to your cage of the thoracic cavity, which is the ribs. So what are the impressions? Let's talk about the right lung first. The right lung impressions are, let's make it easy and talk about in relation to the root some anterior to the root some superior to the root and some posterior to the root so once again the sharp border is the anterior border so you can say anterior to the root the structures are mnemonic is rasp r-a-s-p r-a stands for the right atrium obviously as you all know the heart is resting like this so the right atrium then s stands for the superior vena cava which has to enter your right atrium and then we have the P. P is for the phrenic nerve that passes anterior to the root right in front of these structures. Other structures include inferior vena cava. Moreover, let's talk about the superior part of the root. In the superior part of the root lie your structures A, T, V. The A is the arch of A zygous vein which has to enter your, obviously the superior vena cava is right here. So it enters from posterior aspect of the superior vena cava. Once again, the lung is kept like this in your body. And then we have the T. T is for the trachea which lies right here and V is for the right vagus nerve which is lying above. 
Moving on posteriorly is just one structure called O, which is the esophagus. This entire impression is for the esophagus. Hence, rasp, ATV, O. The impressions on the left lung are simple as well. The most important part of this lung is this cardiac notch above it on your surface. If you ever percuss uh, in front of this area, it will be known as the area of superficial cardiac dullness. So this area is occupied by your heart. So this area is basically occupying obviously your left ventricle. Apart from this, the most important structure posterior to the root is the descending thoracic aorta. So obviously, this is the heart, arises from it the ascending aorta, then the arch of aorta, then the descending thoracic aorta. So this entire impression lies on your left lung. Moreover, the structures include the phrenic nerve anterior to the root again. Uh, on top of this is the very important pulmonary trunk superior to the root, the pulmonary trunk, obviously entering the heart. And then we have the thoracic duct right superior to that pulmonary trunk, thoracic duct left recurrent laryngeal nerve, the left vagus nerve, and the thoracic duct. These were a couple of structures making impressions on your left lung. The mnemonic for these structures is DVD apple, D for descending thoracic aorta, V for the ventricle or left ventricle, D for the thoracic duct, A is for the arch of aorta, P is for the pulmonary trunk, another P is for the phrenic nerve, L is for the left recurrent laryngeal and left vagus nerve, and finally, E is for the esophagus, which is lying on the superior to the root. So that was all about the impressions. The blood supply of the lung includes bronchial arteries. There are two bronchial arteries on the left side, while one bronchial artery on the right side. These supply nutrition to the lungs, while the pulmonary artery and pulmonary veins, they provide the function of the lung, which is what? The pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood towards the lung to get oxygenated which is the main function of the lung moreover two pulmonary veins they carry oxygenated blood away from your lung towards the heart in the next video we will talk about bronchial tree of the lung thank you so much for watching